Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to teach you something critically important. How to make the perfect salad. And no one's more qualified than my friend Damien. You wrote an entire book called That's Salad. Right. So I think you're the man to tell us, in the classic French style at least, how do you make a salad, Damien? This is a, the simplest approach, absolutely. You start with a bowl, which you can use, put your hands in to toss it rather than using implements. Take the clove of garlic, cut off the root end, smash it, put it in here and then press it down and rub to perfume the bowl. I remember you telling me about this. The first time I heard this was from you and it was a revelation. Now you see, if you think about being at the dinner party, right, and so you've got six people there, you can do that in advance. You can put the leaves in there without a dressing, cover with glad wrap and send the fridge, then make a dressing separately. But my, pre my preference is to make the dressing in the bowl. And a good leaf salad should have nothing more than a, a sort of veneer of dressing. There should be no presence of drops at the end. A little Dijon mustard. A little acid. A little acid. Now that could be a vinegar, that could be verjuice, could be a combination. Also the oils you use are not limited to just uh, extra virgin olive oil. We've got a great one here. We have a mixture. You can have a nut oil, for example, hazelnut oil. But with all those nut oils, I tend to use about a quarter of the nut oils, or three quarters of a neutral oil, because they're so strong. Right. Some salt, some pepper, a little squeeze for a start. The key that I happen to have. Just, just one happen to have. In plus, on plus. Maybe a tiny bit of salt. So, so we have our salad dressing ready. What about our leaves, Chef? Right. I like small pieces. This has been washed, it's been spun dry. Just tear it. I don't like cutting it. If you've prepared this in advance a day ahead, it's worthwhile looking here because it tends to discolour. It does. See, cutting it like, sorry, tearing it like this means that eating it with a fork is very easy. Rather than a fork and knife. We can Most just, people. Yes, I understand. See, that's perfect. It's got your name on it. Funny it all came that way. I know. Wouldn't that save us time? Now, I received a great tip, and I think you know this one as well. If you don't have a salad spinner, a tea towel, with the lettuce inside, rolled up like a... And, and then spin. Yes. So that's a, that's a salad spinner of sorts, I mean, isn't it? you could probably put... If, if you want to do that, you need to do it three times to do this quantity. Sure. But it is important that it's washed and dried. Absolutely. This is a perfect salad for two people. Great side dish to anything, really, exactly. isn't it? Okay, I think fish. we're serving ours with the fish in Mernier sauce. Splendid. So I just use my hands and I caress the leaves through the dressing. This is the part. I remember you teaching me this years ago. I've never forgotten the caressing of the dressing through the leaves. So the perfect salad when made should not have anything in the bottom. No more salad dressing. That means the leaves are just gently veneered with dressing. That looks beautiful, Chef. It actually smells Look. beautiful as well. I do love a touch of mustard. This is mustard. And it's in the bowl, ready to go to That's the table. Correct. Salad vert. Salad vert, oui. Bon appétit.